What's up guys, it's Trev back again here bringing another video. So got a quick minute, decided I'd do another Walking Dead video while it's on my mind. So this one's going to be just a question video, really, a uh, discussion. Who is the better leader, Rick or Shane? Um, so at this point, you know, we've reached the mid-season finale. We've seen the whole situation with the barn and Sophia as a zombie and all this kind of stuff. And we've gotten to see sort of two different takes on leadership in the group and, you know, how Rick does things how Shane does things, and how they differ. Now, in the most recent episode, we saw Shane kind of lose his head and, uh, you know, um, open up the barn full of zombies and just unleash them on the group. Um, so, you know, but that being said, too, in the uh, the first season, we did have Rick sort of go after uh, uh, Merle or try to save Merle. And while that happened, the, uh, the camp was attacked and just got back in time, but a couple people did get bitten because of it. So it kind of brings up the question, who is the better leader, which which style of leadership uh, is better in that situation? So I think when you uh, you break it down, you look at it, um, you know, Rick's character kind of is, he's sort of like a nicer type of character. He, he doesn't view other people as the enemy, he views only zombies as the enemy pretty much, and he wants to sort of expand the group and have everybody survive together. He's sort of an idealist, so to speak. Um, so he's one extreme where he's too nice in this kind of world. The other extreme, of course, with Shane is that he's, uh, you know, a realist, but, um, you know, he, he sort of, you know, has accepted the world that they live in and, and has decided that he's going to do whatever it takes, absolutely whatever it takes to survive and to keep, you know, at least Laurie and Carl safe and, you know, maybe some of the other members of the group as well. So, in a lot of ways, these two are polar opposites in the way they do things and the way they, you know, run the group and the way they make decisions. Um, so, which one is better? Wh who is the better leader? Uh, obviously, this is a, an opinion-based question, so please feel free to uh, leave a comment and we'll discuss. Um, me, personally, I have to say that I think that probably Rick is the better leader, and here's why. Even though Shane is, is more realistic and, uh, you know... Uh, you know, thinks more about survival and, you know, is, is better in that aspect and isn't as nice to other people as, as Rick is, which I think is good. He is a hothead. He's a big-time hothead. We got to see it in the last episode of The Walking Dead. You know, it, it infuriates him that uh, that Rick and Herschel are, you know, trying to, you know, kind of put the other zombies into the barn and to the point where he just loses his head and just opens the barn full of dozens of zombies out on the group. Even though they had guns and everything, you know, that's great and they were able to take care of it, but... Think of all the ammo he wasted just there. And not only that, think of, you know, what if something went wrong? You know, I mean, there there would have been a way better way to, you know, if, he, if they'd have just thought about it and they wanted to clear the barn out, they could have gone, you know, up the side there, up that ladder, and just shot them all down from a higher level. You know, they going and just letting them all out loose on the group like that, you know, to a shooting gallery is, you know, that's a very hot-headed decision. So I think when you have someone like that, even though he's probably better in terms of being more realistic... Um, and, you know, Rick is kind of more of an idealist and is too nice sometimes, I still have to say Rick is the better leader, you know. Uh, Shane being a hothead like that, making decisions like that, and being kind of crazy like that really puts everybody at jeopardy. And, I mean, not only that, you know, he's kind of a loose cannon too, the fact that, you know, he'll be pulling a gun on Rick one second, and he doesn't fire, but, you know, who knows if, what he would have done if Dale wasn't there. And then, you know, shooting Otis and that kind of stuff, which I guess... I guess was necessary for the time, and maybe Rick wouldn't have gotten out of that mess. Who knows? But, um, you know, I, I still have to say that I think probably Rick is the better leader in the group. And if you if you guys don't think that Rick or Shane is the best leader, who do you think? I mean, I know that there are other characters there, like Glenn, for example. Um, you know, uh, Maggie seems to think that he's, he's a very good leader and that he is, you know, um, leadership material. Me, personally, I, I don't really think he is, at least not yet. I think he's just, he's way too nice and he's way too, um, you know... He's just too young, he's too fresh, you know, he's, he's got amazing skills, very useful skills, and I think anybody would want to have him in their group, you know, being able to loot and raid very quickly and get in and out very fast. Um, but I, I don't see him as, as a leader. Uh, likewise, um, Daryl Dixon is kind of too, he's too, he's too much of a loner, you know, he, he's, he's kind of like that, uh, you know, like a hard ass on his own, but I don't think he has what it takes to be a leader of a group. Uh, even though, you know, he, he did do that whole thing with going after Sophia and all that, but, you know, that hard-headedness got him in trouble, and, and it could have gotten him in trouble again if he would have gone out again. So I'd have to say I think definitely out of all the characters in the group, Rick is the best. Um, another character, actually, that would be very good as a leader is uh, Dale. 
But the only thing with Dale is is that he's even nicer than Rick in a lot of ways, you know. Um, and you know he he can't really lead by example because of his age and stuff. And so I I think that that would he would be a decent choice. Maybe you could argue that Dale would be a better choice for a leader than Shane, but I definitely think that Rick is probably the best uh, choice for leader in the entire group. Anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, feel free to write a comment. I do respond to comments, and we can talk about it. Later, guys. Peace.